Hello, my name is Pablo Stanley, and this is part of a crash course on Figma's Auto Layout. In this lesson, we'll create a simple UI card, an image, some metadata, and actions. Easy, right? Oh, but we want it to expand, shrink down, keep the padding around it, and all the elements in place. Well, we'll use Auto Layout to solve this. First, we'll create the top level data with auto spacing. Then we'll add an image that fills the container from left to right. And then we'll add some actions below with dynamic spacing. And that's it. Let's do this. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to build. This is a very typical UI card, but it has some complexity hidden inside it. So you can see that it's divided in three parts. We have our heading with our title and subtitle. Then we have the image, and then we have the actions in the bottom. In the heading, we have this section which its own padding. It has padding here all around it. And also inside it, we have an action that is pinned to the right. And then we have this little icon on the left, which could be also like an avatar, and also a title and subtitle. So this is its own auto layout with its own auto layout. It's uh, multiple auto layouts put together. Then the image is just an image, it's just a container that is filling the width. There's no padding around it, just like it's full bleed. And then we have the actions with its own padding around it, but also the actions, the icon, you can see that they are their own auto layout. So a lot of auto layouts nested inside other auto layouts. So let's build this. Okay, so here I have all the elements that I'm going to be using, all the different icons, and also some text layers that I'm going to use for the title and subtitle. If you want to use these assets, there's a link in the description. First thing, title and the subtitle, I want them to be next to each other, one on top of the other. So I'm just going to put them like that, and then I'm going to create an auto layout out of them. So I'm going to press Shift A, and now I create an auto layout and I have the different options here. I actually want it to be four pixels between them and that's the spacing in between them. I can add more if I wanted to, but I think four pixels should be good. So now I have this auto layout. I have what is going to be my avatar. I'm just simulating with this gray square. And I suppose I should put this icon on the right because that's going to be my heading. It's just like an overflow menu. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to press Shift A. And now I press Shift A and I just try to calculate the space in between them that will be even. Uh, right now it's 72, but actually maybe 16 pixels should be enough. That should be the spacing between actually eight pixels. I don't want more than that. Now, something that you'll notice is that everything is aligned to the top and I want to align it to the center so I can just change this and I want it to be aligned here to the center. It's not going to make a huge difference if you make it here or here or here, but uh, I'm going to show you what if you grow it a little bit like this and you grow it, then if you align it like this, then you will see that it will align to the right. But right now, we actually want it to be aligned to the left and now, but do we do want this icon to be pinned to the right. So how can we do that? Well, we can say that this element, instead of hogging the contents, we want it to fill the container. And now that it's filling the container, it's just like trying to push all the elements so it's filling the container. And this one and this one, they both remain with the fixed width and a fixed height. And that way, these are not pushing, these are not stretching. The only one that is stretching is the one in the middle and it's pushing the elements to the sides. So now uh, this gray box looks a little bit too boring, so let's change it. I'm going to use the blush plugin with illustrations. I'm going to just select this rectangle and I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm going to change it to this one from Young. Uh, this street life collection and it has a head character that I really like. I'm just going to select one of them and just replace that rectangle with a random head illustration. Looks pretty cool. I actually like that one, but I'm going to press random button. Just see what it gives me. I also like that one. Oh man, it's just addictive to just keep pressing the random button. Okay, last one. And you know what? I actually like this goofy face. So I'm going to select that goofy face. Okay, cool. So now we have this. This is going to be our heading. I'm going to call it heading. Heading, and these are going to be the actions below. But before we put the actions below, 
let's actually add an image. So this image is going to be, well, it's just a rectangle. Uh, and let me just uh, make it a little bit bigger, just around there. Around there is going to be the image, and I'm going to use a different plugin for this. I'm going to use the Unsplash plugin. And I really like the minimal collection, so I'm just going to press minimal. Let's see what else they got. Oh man, that actually pretty pretty nice. One last one. Oh man, these are really, really minimal. These are really clean. I don't know. Okay, that one looks good. <laughs> it's not as minimal. Yeah, yeah, I just like that one with the balloons and the chair. Okay, cool. So we have that. Now uh, we have the image. We'll go back to it in a second. Now let's build or bottom actions. So right now we have all these uh, uh, icons, and I want to be able to just like add a number next to them so people can know how many likes have been added to this card. So I'm just going to add six likes. So six, I'm going to change it to a lighter weight around there. And I'm going to select this, the icon and the number, and I'm going to say shift A to add an auto layout. This is an auto layout. I'm going to say that it's eight pixels. No, actually that's too much. So four pixels and let's align it to the center. Align to the center, that is looking good. So, okay, so I like this. Now I want to duplicate this element. I want to be able to do the same but with the comments. So I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to paste it over here. And you see how it just added to the auto layout. So when you add it to the auto layout, it's just adjusting to it. If I were to, uh, let's just for demo's sake, let me just show you like, if I paste it again, see how it's pushing the content. It's just adjusting to it and if I wanted to I can add more spacing and less space and if I just delete the stuff that I don't want I don't want this this and this I only want to leave this one so I just delete it and it just auto magically uh, adjust its position how cool is that I'm going to do the same with the last one with the camera I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to paste it over here I'm going to move it I can actually just move it like that and it snaps into place and I'm going to remove this one now I'm going to rename all of these. These should all have been renamed something. I'm going to press Command R. I'm going to name them actions or social actions. I don't know what you want to call it, action. And then I'm going to put this one. This one doesn't have a number. So all of these are auto layouts in this action. And I'm actually going to select all of these and I'm going to turn all of these into an auto layout too. So I'm going to press Shift A and boom, now it's adding an auto layout uh, to all of these. I'm going to align into the center. I'm going to align into the center center like this. It doesn't look like it did anything and that's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, but now we have this, we have all of our elements. We have this one, we have our image and we have our bottom auctions. So I'm going to rename it bottom heading and then image. Okay, so we have all of these. I'm going to actually select all of these and I'm going to add an auto layout to them. So I'm going to press shift A, boom. And now it added an auto layout to this whole thing. And now to this whole thing, I'm going to call it UI card. And to this UI card, I'm going to add a fill, just a white fill that is just behind everything. It's starting to look like a UI card, but you can see that not everything is great. What if I resize it? <laughs> Not so cool, right? It's uh, something is not right. So let's fix some of these things. First thing is that this thing, I want it to be all of these elements actually, I want all of these elements to be filling the container. Let's uh, resize it again, just so you can see what happens. Let's say that it re like resizes like this. If I resize it like this, and I want to say, instead of having a, a fixed width or hot container, I want it to be fill container. You see what is happening now? Now it's trying to fill the container and it's trying to, on the width, just like adjust the size of it. Now, the spacing in between this and this and this, right now it's at 14 pixels. I'm actually going to change it to zero pixels. I know that's not great, but I'm going to show you why I'm doing that in a second. So, okay, so right now they're all together, but also this thing I want it to be aligned to the bottom. So how am I going to do that? Remember we are doing this over here, that we're expanding this uh, text. 
Well, we're going to do the same, but with the image. Now the image, I'm going to say that instead of a fixed height, I want it to be filling the container. You see this? Now it's actually pushing this actions all the way to the bottom. So now if I resize this, see, now the image is resizing, but it's also pushing the actions and it's keeping this thing on the top. So it's looking pretty, pretty nice. But now we want this to have its own spacing. So we want to add some padding to this one. So I'm, that's why I didn't add padding between the elements. I'm going to add the padding to the actual top. So I'm going to actually say eight pixels around it. Boom, look at that, that looks nice. Let's do the same here. Let's add eight pixels around it. That looks pretty good, but also, I don't know if I like how they, these elements are aligned. Right now, they're just like center. They're all together, but they're center. And I want this to be just like, I don't know, just expanding its spacing according to the size of the card. So what I want to do is go over here on this bottom, and I want the, the spacing between the elements. I can do two things. I can just type in auto. Auto, and look at that. It just added automatic spacing between the elements. So the spacing between this, 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 it's always adapting to the size, to the width of the card. You could have also just done this here. Instead of saying packed, you could have just say space between, and then would have put this in automatic, just in case that's another way to do the same thing. So, okay, you see, now everything is falling into place, but also, I don't know, I feel like it's, too close to the left and too close to the right here. So I'm actually going to change the padding on the sides to be 16 pixels here and 16 pixels here. And that looks a little bit nicer. Now let's try it again. Look at that. It looks so good, right? Now if I want to, to this whole frame that has an outer layout, I can also add a corner radius. Look at it. Now it has a corner radius. It looks Really, really nice. And that's how you create a UI card. Also, well, hold on, one last thing. <laughs> There's one more thing. I'm actually going to change this to use like a light gray. Uh, I'm not liking that one, just so it looks a little bit lighter. Maybe this one also I'm going to like, change it to a light gray. That looks nicer, look at that. So yeah, that's how you build a UI card using auto layout. Pretty, it looks pretty simple, but it has a lot of little details that you have to take care of just so it's responsive and it feels elastic and you can just adapt it and play around with it, the different sizes, and it will always, will always look right. How cool. This is part of a crash course on Auto Layout. There are more lessons like this, so just keep watching. Thank you.